Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode. Today I have here a fossil that I collect on my previous videos and you can see that it's a little bit enclosed in the matrix so I will try to remove this one out of here without broking anything I hope so I brought this I bought this little tool over here it's an engraver you can buy this almost in any tool store uh, but the purpose is not to mark the fossil so uh, this this is a very cheap tool about I don't know 25 dollars or even less and I'm going to try to remove the bit out of here around the fossil without touching the fossil uh, for not to, to mark the, 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 the fossil with the engraver so uh, you, we have to be real careful not to, to to damage the fossil with the engraver because this tip over here uh, just one one closed call and you can mark and do a scratch in the fossil so that is not the purpose so I will try to remove the fossil out of here for you guys to see so let's begin So guys, like I was saying, uh, keep in mind that you have to stay away from the edges of the fossil in order not to damage. So start by digging this bit around here and don't get too hasty because you can move the tool uh, close, close uh, enough to the fossil in order and you can damage. So. Um, another thing that you have to keep in mind is to uh, from time to time to clean the area that you are work working on because you um, the debris are falling off and you might not see what you are doing and end up putting the tool too close to the fossil and damage damage a little bit so this is looking cool so just a little bit more and I believe it's going to get loose over here there's I believe a little bit of shell around here which is cool and let's hope I don't break this bit over here so let's see so take a look with the vibration of the tool the fossil came out very easily and it's complete as you can see Sorry. Now it's need, need, needs a little bit more cleaning, but I believe the objective is con is uh, it's concluded because it's in one piece. I didn't want to break it in any any way, but you you need to to be advised that this method is only for fossils that are very hard not for fossils that are crumbling down because the tool uh, does a certain vibration in the matrix and uh, if the fossil is fragile you might end up losing the fossil so i will do a little bit more cleaning on this over here and that's about it hello my friends and here we are back again i don't know if you remember this little bit over here this stone over here as some embedded fossils this one over here this little fellow over here and the large one on this side over here so we'll try to remove first this this bit over here this little one and then this one over here i don't know if it's uh, very big or not i hope this one is a little bit and later on we'll try to remove this one that is in here so let's begin so friends this is the work so far the gastropod is starting to appear real nice I don't know if it has another curl or something because uh, I don't know if it stops right there or if it has another coil because the rock it's too dense to, to see about that this one over here uh, I still don't quite sure where it begins or ends so I have to be careful if I want to keep this one so this one is it's turning out to be real cool so let's see if I can take it 
from here. Well, the progress are doing great, but I kind of choose to left this one out because I believe it's too damaged already to be salvaged, but this one it's real cool and it's going to demand still a little bit of more work, but I think I'm in the good path looking cool here it is guys oh where is the zoom okay it looks like a normal sh uh, snail but kind of cool okay here it is guys it demand a lot of work but it's in one piece just a little bit missing from the tip over here but overall looking cool hey <laughs> one more